Now, if you want to be a good programmer, it's very important that you get a solid understanding on data types. So, let's talk a bit about them and get you familiar with the basics of them. On the most fundamental level, let's say you have some data that is stored in a variable. Well, this data has some sort of type that's associated with it. There are a good number of different data types, and they all have different instructions and rules. And this is so your computer knows what it can and can't do with the variable. Now, there are six main data types that are shared across most languages. Bool, which stands for Boolean, named after the 19th century mathematician George Bool, whose work popularized it. Char, which stands for character. String, which stands for a string of characters. Int, which stands for integer. Float, which stands for floating point value. And array, which isn't actually a type of data, it's a data structure, but by definition, it's an ordered series or an arrangement of similar types of data. And note, there are more data types that exist out there, but if you want to learn more about these in particular, I have a lesson on each and every one of them. Check the link in the description because this lesson will only briefly go over them. Now, again, every single one of these have their own unique set of rules and instructions. For instance, let's take a look at the integer data type, which are a type of data for whole numbers. Let's say that you have an integer that equals 11, and you want to minus 1 from it. Well, you'd write out this operation, send it to the computer to perform, and guess what? Your computer would take a look at this operation, then we'll look to see if it has the instructions for doing that operation, then we'll go, yeah, I know how to subtract an integer from an integer. The computer will then subtract 1 from 11, and then send back to you a 10. All well and good. Everything checks out. But now, let's take a look at a string data type, which again is a string of characters. If you were to have the string 11, and you wanted to subtract the integer 1 from the string 11, well, you send this operation to your computer, your computer would take a look at this operation, then check to see if it has instructions on how to do that or not. Then, it would realize what you sent it makes absolutely no sense. It has no instructions on how to subtract integers from strings. This is no difference from telling your computer to subtract 1 from the word hello. How do you do that? So, your computer will just send back to an error, letting you know that the operation you are trying to do makes no sense. Which specifically in this case, is a type error. Now, let's do the same operation, but instead make both of them strings. What do you think will happen? Will we get a 10 again, but as a string? Maybe we'll get another error. Well, if you again have the string 11, and you send the operation to your computer to subtract the string 1 from the string 11, your computer will look at this operation, then again, realize it has no instructions on how to do this, thus returning back to you in error. But you may find this next part quite interesting. If you instead tell your computer to take the string 11 and plus the string 1 to it, it will look at this operation, then check to see if it has any instructions on how to do this or not, and then say, yeah, actually, I can do that for you. Then it'll send back to you a string of 111. Simply because, since the string 1 and the string 11 are both strings, all it has to do is add an extra 1 to the 11 string. Just for example. And there you have it for data types. That is why understanding data types is really important. You will have a very hard time trying to write programs without knowing the difference between a number as an int, float, or string. Check out the lessons linked in the description to learn more about each data type individually. But in conclusion, just remember that data types are different types of data with different rules and instructions. And depending on the data type of your variable, there are certain operations that you can and can't do with it, which will become very important to grasp and understand as you start using them.